Hey, 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 it's Elmira again, helping you be a self-care boss. <laughs> Had to think about that uh, quickly. I'm sitting here in my massage room and wanted to chat with you about the mystery of self-care. To me, self-care is not a mystery. However, in our daily lives, it is because self-care is a huge buzzword now. And my thing is, what is it? What is self-care? To me, it's simply taking care of yourself. And for a lot of, a lot of us, that is challenging because we're so accustomed to taking care of everybody else. We have work commitments and family commitments and husband commitments and family commitments. And the thing is, have you made a commitment to yourself? You know, you got married and you said, yes, and I do. And you took the vows and you promised to take care of your kids. You even promised to go to church and, and everything like that. But when have you made an intentional distinct commitment to yourself. There needs to be no mystery about self-care. Uh, I often hear this because I'm working with my massage clients and they're like, what is this self-care boss thing? It's all about making a commitment to take care of you. It's not, hey, I got to go pay $200 for a massage. I got to go take a fancy trip. I got to take myself out to eat. I got to take a fancy. It's not about action. It's not about doing things. It's about changing how you feel about yourself, making sure that you are the most important person in your life. A lot of times we get angry, we get frustrated with our lives because we have made more of a commitment to other people than we have to ourselves. Where it, it comes down to it, there was, there was a time in my life, I can say that, you know, I, I had a boyfriend before. I would be tired and doing things so much for him that I neglected myself. I gained weight during that time. You know, I'm like, okay, Elmira, you need to get it together. <laughs> during that time, I made more of a commitment to making him happy than keeping up with my physical and my mental and my spiritual health. You see how that can happen? And, and it happens when we become unintentional about taking care of ourselves. And when you take care of yourself, it's not just the physical, how you look, how your boobs look, how your waist look, you know, what clothes you wear. All that stuff is fine and great. However, you got to take care of your mind. You got to make sure you're thinking clearly. You got to make sure you're thinking straight. You got to make sure you give praise and, and gratitude to God. All of that stuff is taking care of yourself and being committed. So there needs to be no mystery about what self-care is. You just have to ask yourself the question, am I committed to me? Have I been intentional this week about doing something for myself? Ask yourself that. Have I been intentional this week about doing something to take better care of myself? Hey, hey, we got to preach it up in here. Have I been intentional this week about doing something to take better care of myself? Because saying that you are um, intentional about self-care you could be just doing the same mundane things you've been doing for the past five, 10 years, but have you been taking better care of yourself? There's always room for growth. Even if you 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years old, I had an 80 some year old client in here and he was telling me about the stuff he do, Zumba and all that. He would put some of y'all 20 year olds to shame. There you go. You can always do better. That's the mystery of self-care is that it's all about the commitment you are making to become better about yourself. Until next time, you all make it a relaxing day. And remember, you can get my book, which is Becoming a Self-Care Boss, 31 Days to Self-Discovery. If you don't know yourself in 31 days, you're going to know yourself better. Go to couturemassage.com slash shop to get the ebook. Additionally, you can book your massage with me 
in the Nashville, Tennessee area or in Virginia at CoutureMassage.com. Thank you much. Make it a relaxing day. Bye. And take care of better care of yourself and stop saying that self-care is a mystery because it ain't. Because if you can make a commitment to other people, you can make a commitment to yourself. All right now. <laughs>